Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Lakato, which was fought between the German Empire and the United Kingdom, located in the lakato cambrissi region of France on August 26, 1914. Unlike the Battle of Mons, the previous battle between the British Expeditionary Forces and the Germans, this battle would not be a battle of rifles, rather it would be a battle of artillery. This type of battle was new, the devastation of artillery in World War I far exceeded anything in prior wars. Both the Germans and British had settled their artillery in for the fight. The Germans had chosen to keep their artillery further back, concealed, while the British kept the artillery only 200 yards behind their infantry. This gave the Germans an advantage. When they would attack the British infantry with their artillery, they would also always score hits on the British artillery, as it was so close to be within range of the artillery explosions. The British 5th Division had made its home on the southern side of the La Cato Cumbri Road. Flanked on its right was the 3rd and 4th Divisions. The placement of the British was a poor choice, however. The road was sunken along many places, providing inadequate position for the infantry to fire long ranges. This also allowed the German troops to march up close to their positions without being seen. The issue was that originally the commanders had not intended to use these positions for anything other than a counterattack and then retreat, but they received orders while they were preparing to defend only. This resulted in the British not having adequate field of fire with prepared positions, and they did not have hidden routes of withdrawal when they eventually pulled out. Fortunately for the British, the German attack was not coordinated on a higher level, this resulted in the majority of troops already in battle when they received their actual orders. They hit the British hard, but they had no organized plan when they were trying to dislodge them. The British did hold out longer than expected, but around midday both flanks began to break under the German artillery attack. The Germans followed this up with an infantry push. However, in an unexpected save, just before the British line was about to collapse, the arrival of the French Cavalry Corps, commanded by General André Sordet, was trumpeted and it was the last hope for the British soldiers. The cavalry corp used their mobility to get between the Germans and the British. They acted as human shields as the British pulled back. This stopped the German flanking that was responsible for the breaking of the British line. After the British retreat back to St. Quentin, the total casualties for the United Kingdom was 7,812. This included 700 killed, 4,512 wounded, and 2,600 men captured while the Germans suffered a total of 2,900 men killed, wounded, and missing. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.